In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the SPO15 Barroza Radar 1 Receiver, or RWR. We'll also talk about the countermeasure systems at your disposal. I have the lesson paused while I review the RWR and countermeasure systems. You can press L to turn on cockpit lighting. Press the space bar when you're ready to continue. In the bottom right corner of the front dash is the SPO15 RWR panel. It's the black panel with the aircraft symbol in the center. The light at the very top center of the panel, above the nose of the aircraft, indicates that the SPO-15 has power. The RWR display indicates any threat radars illuminating your aircraft. The information is presented as symbols representing the type and direction to the threat. Six lights at the bottom of the display notify you of the threat radar type. The system provides detection of radar signals between positive and negative 180 degrees in azimuth and positive and negative 30 degrees in elevation. It's important to note that the RWR will only alert you to radar guided threats. It will not detect missiles with infrared guidance. For those, you will need to spot them visually. Press the spacebar to continue. In the very center of the RWR panel, within the aircraft symbol, are the relative elevation lights. If the lower light is lit, the primary threat is below you. If both the top and bottom lights are lit, the threat is roughly co-altitude with you. If only the top light is lit, the threat is above you. Press the space bar to continue. Around about 75% of the aircraft symbol is a ring of lights that indicate the relative detected power of the primary threat radar. The ring of lights generally corresponds to the range of the threat. The more lights, the more close it is. To the right of the aircraft symbol is a single green light. This indicates the relative direction to a detected secondary radar threat. If there is only a single threat detected, as we have now, the secondary and primary will be the same. There can be multiple secondary threats displayed at once. To the right of the secondary threat indication is a larger amber light that indicates the direction to the primary threat. There are 10 such lights that include left and right 10 degrees, 30 degrees, 50 degrees, 90 degrees, and left and right rear hemisphere. There can only be one primary threat indicated at once. Currently, you have a primary threat detected 90 degrees right, in other words, off your right wing. Press the spacebar to continue. As I've been talking, you've probably noticed that annoying beeping sound. The sound indicates detected radar in search mode. You have the option to filter RWR to only detect radars that have locked on to you. Do this by pressing right shift and R now. Good. Now let's press right shift and R again to bring us back to non-filter detection. Along the bottom of the RWR panel is a row of six lights that indicate the general type of radar that the primary threat belongs to. Currently, the far right light is lit with a C beneath it. This corresponds to an AWACS radar detected off your right wing. Press the space bar to continue. The AWACS will now be replaced by an early warning radar, or EWR. You can see this indicated by the second light from the right with the F being illuminated and the primary threat light is now in your right rear hemisphere. Press the space bar to continue. We now see the detection of a short range air defense missile radar. These generally support air defense systems like the Shilka, 206, Roland, and SA-8. The third light from the right with the H below is now lit and the primary threat light indicates the threat is located 50 degrees to the right of your nose. Eventually, the threat SA-8 will lock onto you and the center aircraft symbol will have a red circle beneath it. This will be in addition to a steady lock tone. Press the space bar to continue once you've been locked up. Next, we have a medium range radar as indicated by the X light, third from the left. The primary threat has moved to whom your 30 and 50 degree left lights meaning the threat is somewhere between 30 and 50 degrees off the left side of your nose. Medium SAMs include the SA-11, SA-6, and IHAWK. The lock tone can be a bit too loud at times, so try decreasing its volume by pressing right, alt, and comma. Try raising the volume back up now by pressing right, alt, and period. The next primary detection is for a long-range SAM, like an S-300 or a Patriot. 
As such, we have a three indication light second from the left, and our primary threat light is directly ahead of us. Press the spacebar to continue. The final threat type is for an airborne radar, as you might find in a fighter. The end light is indicated at the far left of the threat lights. The radar is detected between 10 and 50 degrees off the left side of the nose. Press the spacebar to continue. That should now provide you an overview of how to interpret the RWR panel. You can also degrade an enemy unit's radar lock range by turning on electronic countermeasures. When ECM is active, it will be broadcasting your presence to everyone. As such, it's best to only turn it on when you're locked up by enemy radar. We'll make an exception in this training case though, and have you turn it on now by pressing E. Upon turning on ECM, you'll see a green lamp on the right console start to blink. This indicates that ECM is warming up. Once the lamp is solid, it's fully operational. In addition to ECM, you also have expendable countermeasures in the form of chaff and flares. On the right console, you can see two rows of eight green lights. Each light on the left row represents 16 chaff bundles. Each of the lights on the right row represents eight flare cartridges. Chaff is a bundle of metallic strips that bloom when released. These can decoy the tracking of incoming radar guiding missiles. If possible, keep the missile off your left or right wing or dispensing chaff to have the best effect. Try releasing a chaff bundle now by pressing insert. Good. If you spot a missile launch with no corresponding RWR warning, then there's a good chance it's an infrared guided missile. Like chaff, try to get the missile coming to your flight path at a perpendicular angle and release flares. Try releasing some flares now by tapping the delete key a few times. This concludes this train lesson on understanding the SPO-15 RWR and expendable countermeasures.